I found this interesting post on Reddit uh, from a struggling business owner who doesn't know what to do. And um, as you scroll through uh, Reddit and other forums, uh, small business forums, whether they're uh, again on Reddit or Facebook or whatever it may be, a lot of the themes are kind of the same. Um, People open up businesses because they have, um, you know, a talent in a certain area. In this case, this person is a fashion design person or a tailor, um, but it could be a, a cook, a chef who opens a restaurant or a carpenter who opens a, a home building business. It doesn't really matter, right? They you, they have a talent and a skill and the love of a certain trade or craft, and they open their own business thinking that's all they have to do is, you know, you know, sign a lease, open the doors, and then, you know, people are going to magically come in, but that's not the case. That's certainly not the case here. So let me, uh, let me read to you the, uh, the scenario of this person's, let me read to you what this person is going through. He says, um, my tailoring business is failing. What do I do next? I've studied fashion design and I'm passionate about fashion. Okay. I opened a tailoring and alteration shop. Um, around town center about a year ago but it's not bringing in a lot of profit and to be honest i work a lot just myself there i'm thinking one of the issues is that around me are two other tailors with a good reputation so the competition it's high i don't know why i opened in that location okay location 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 we all know that Uh, but what do i do now do i try to sell it and lose money uh do I try to sell it and lose money in the long run because the value will be low? Or do I rebrand it and focus on something else? Renting clothes, bridal repairs, making suits. What is a good market in the UK? And maybe fashion related. Any suggestions will be amazing and very helpful. Thank you, obviously. So this is what I wrote to him. I wrote, come up with an amazing offer. First and, first and foremost, like if nobody's, you have competition in the marketplace. Uh, and competition, you know, they have the customer base locked up. You need to do something different. You can't, <laughs> that's what I wrote to this guy. You need to think outside of the box and do, uh, don't do what others are doing and, and expect people to start coming in just because you opened up shop, right? You, when you open a business, you have to solve for a need that doesn't exist. You need to think of it in those terms. Like what problem are you solving by opening your in this case, tailor shop that's not already being solved and handled by the current tailor shops in your town. So if the tailor shops are, say, too expensive and a lot of people can't afford them, well, you can have a price uh, advantage. That might be a way of doing it, but that's generally not a good strategy. But what can you do that's different? Uh, What problem can you solve that's not being uh, solved? And that's how you have to that's how to think about your business when you open up shop doing whatever it is that you do. So I wrote, come up with an amazing offer. Think outside the box. Don't do what others are doing and expect people to start coming in just because you opened up your shop. Here's an example of what I mean. And I'm using crazy numbers. I don't know what tailoring costs. You know, so this is just an example. So you get an idea to kind of jumpstart your mind working, right? So plug in the right numbers. That makes sense. But also offer an amazing value where people almost can't say no, right? So an offer, like that's the first thing I would focus on is what's the offer I can put out there that people almost have to say yes, right? So when Netflix first started their streaming business uh, and it was like five bucks for all that stuff, you almost couldn't say no to that, right? Now it's like 20, but back then it was five. It was about customer acquisition, which is what I'm getting to here. So almost come up with an offer where people almost can't say no, it's that amazing. So I'm gonna give you an example. This is what I wrote to this person. I'm gonna give you an example. It's, I'm just riffing. It's not like, uh, you know, you're gonna think this through, but here's my example off the top of my head is come up with an offer like, I'll come to your ho- a home, give you a proper measure and refit your, uh, uh, refit your entire wardrobe or up to five outfits or whatever it is for just 99 bucks, right? something like that. I'll come to you. I'll solve your problem. I'll do it inexpensively. And it's something that you're really going to love. It's customer acquisition. It's getting a new customer in the door. The pathway to long-term and profitable clients as I see it, right? 
If you remember in the beginning with Amazon, they were all about customer acquisition. Everything they did was about customer acquisition. They were losing money for 10, 15 years, whatever it was. Now, a small business can't afford to lose money for 10 or 15 years, but you can certainly come up with an offer that may not be the most profitable thing in the world, but gets customers in the door. So again, I said to him, I'm just riffing, but you get the idea. And I said, if you've opened up shop and you're paying rent and you're just hanging around for eight hours a day, you're doomed, right? You're almost, you're, you're doomed. Just hanging around, waiting for someone to come in. It's only a matter of time before you can't pay the rent, you're gonna have to close up and you've lost a lot of money. Now, if you're in this business and you love it, like you said, you love it and you wanna make it work, you do what you need to do in order to make it work. And some things will work and some things won't work, but just sitting there and waiting for something to happen almost ensures failure is what I wrote to him. You have to get in motion. Action begets action. You need to think outside the box and get moving. So try things, throw the spaghetti against the wall, see what resonates. You love fashion, stick with that theme, but solve the need, the problem that's not being solved currently in your, in your town. And in order to get noticed, initially come up with just an amazing offer that people can't say no to. That's my tip for a small business from a Reddit user. If you like uh, and enjoy this uh, content, please, uh, you know, help me out and like and subscribe and I'll be back with more.